There was times in which I would just kind of blink out for a moment or two. He's been teaching for more than 25 years, dedicating his life to the children in his classroom and his children at home. And now this Frisco ISD middle school teacher is receiving a mountain of support from his school family and his family at home as he fights against an inoperable brain tumor. Fox 4's Alex Boyer shares his story live tonight from Frisco. Alex. Well, I can tell you guys that uh, he's extremely passionate about teaching and loves his students. You know, last year, Noah Amlin began having trouble seeing a bit, and then he had trouble writing. And it's when he couldn't figure out how to turn on his own computer after 10 minutes that he tells me he realized something was terribly wrong. That's a great one. I love that. Keep fighting. Frisco ISD teacher Noah Emlin would normally be grading papers on this table. I hope you get better. Oh, it's sweet. These days, it's covered in letters of inspiration from his students at Roach Middle School. Miss you. I'm going to make dinner for you. Oh. And he did. He did make dinner for us. Last month, the 51 year old history teacher was found by the principal outside his classroom disoriented. Emlin was sent to the emergency room. His fiance rushed from work to be by his side. I'm at the hospital, they're taking an MRI, mm -hmm. to boom, mm -hmm. we're being sent to specialists right. at UT Southwestern. A biopsy revealed Amlin had an inoperable malignant brain tumor the size of a baseball called a glioblastoma. It's affecting his motor skills. Uh, memory loss. <laughs> memory loss. Less than a month later, the father of twin 16-year-old boys is on medical leave and relying on his fiance to be his head cheerleader. It means everything. <laughs> it, uh, it means everything. Beginning Wednesday, Amlin will undergo radiation and chemotherapy treatments five times per week for six weeks. I try to keep positive outlook, uh, but it's hard sometimes. It's really hard. The goal is to shrink the tumor before it spreads or grows larger so the couple can move on to the next chapter in their life, marriage. Maybe we're going to be sitting on our porch with the grandkids and talking about, remember that time you had that brain tumor? So positivity is all you can do is think one day at a time and give it up to God. And because of where that tumor is located, doctors are not able to operate. Now, if that uh, chemo radiation is not successful, then they'll have to look at some alternative options. And as I mentioned earlier in the story, uh, he is on medical leave and will not be able to return to school. The earliest would be in September. So in the meantime, uh, his family and uh, friends and even people at the school have set up a fundraising page. I've included a link to that website on our website. Fox4news.com. Steve. All right, Alex Boyer, thank you.